what I think might be used within the process of the, the, the fire burning. I'm making for the Red House project the paddles which will be used to cradle the base of the fire which will then go on to be made into the servers for the cake for the once the hearth is installed. The paddles are going to be made from, uh, from bronze, uh, solid bronze sheet and also from a, an 8mm diameter bronze rod. When, when Hugh turned up with the prototype, I, I, was, uh, I was pleasantly surprised. It was, it was such a beautiful object in itself. And being a maker, you get a, a real sense of um, appreciation for, for, for prototypes more than you do for the actual finished objects. And so, uh, because it was made in timber as well, which I, I understood how hard it would have been to have made, uh, I, I was uh, I was uh, I was pretty enamoured by the by the uh, by the object. There was going to be some difficulties, I thought, with the detailing of uh, how the uh, handle joins the other the other part of the handle when it comes back round, uh, and also how it connects to the paddle itself, and also uh, kind of the, the material suitability, etc. So there was a number of issues possibly. The paddles uh, are going to be are going to be made from a bronze, a solid bronze sheet, and and the handles are going to be made from an eight millimeter. Uh, solid bronze rod. The process of making the handle is all actually uh, made by hand. It's it's a, a, a simple bending process because obviously the material is pretty uh, lends itself to be ma being uh, manipulated. One of the main opportunities I, I saw about it was was uh, to try and include uh, uh, some sort of text on the handle. I, fe I felt as though that would have been a, a way of um, helping with the narrative maybe, or certainly adding a little bit of detail with the knowledge also that, that maybe the, the simplicity of the whole idea was to be retained. I suppose on a personal level, uh, I, I, feel, uh, I feel like I hark back a little bit to the arts and crafts period in, this, in the way I work. I mean, I, I, I tend to use my hands more than I embrace digital technologies. Uh, uh, so uh, on a personal level, I feel as though the fact that I'm, it's, it is largely made by hand, by myself, um, it's, uh, it's something I feel nods back to those traditions possibly. I think there's a, the, the, the allusion to a uh, sort of, sort of uh, half type kind of uh, language within the object of the server itself. I feel as though there's a, a sort of connectivity that back to uh, elements that were used within the hearth. Yeah, my initial thoughts when you turned up with the with the uh, with the prototype was that it was uh, it was too large, it was too big, and and yet on reflection, I feel as though it's uh, it seems to suit the language of uh, tools as were used in the hearth and as we're using the fire, and I think that kind of makes it work, uh, and, and and then the, through a combination of a, a, a different material, um, bronze in this case, copper, bronze, in the, it, it would actually make it feel a little bit more modern. I, I don't know. It is kind of like uh, all the old tongs used for, used for going into the fire and take, uh, tending the fire or, you know, there is a kind of a, a nod to that uh, uh, tradition. I suppose my relationship with the arts and crafts is uh, um, an appreciation of the making and the the doing rather uh, rather than the, 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 the feeling of uh, for me if I'm not making on a day it doesn't feel doesn't feel right and, I, and it sounds daft but it's every day that and um, and so for me those traditions that uh, were started within that uh, movement I suppose still hold true to me today in a way and it's um, uh, appreciation of the quality of craftsmanship of uh, the doing uh, yeah what I like about metal is is, is the Im immediacy of uh, working on ideas that you can prototype and test very quickly through the processes like welding brazing joining quickly uh, and so also the uh, the contrast between certain metals the richness, the luster, the aging of the metals. I can understand how metal can be perceived as cold and metal, but then also the contrast between certain metals adds a richness, adds uh, a detail, adds uh, another 
elements other than just coldness. Metal was probably easier to work with in, in the sense of getting a quick result. You, the craftsmanship for me involved in timber and woodwork is far greater in a way or far more challenging, more patient than, <laughs> than metal. I'm always interested to see what John's take has been on, on the ideas that I've thrown his way. He has a, uh, you know, he has a maker's mind, so he's constantly thinking about how things are going to go together. And, uh, what sort of, you know, what are the, the logistics of making a really lovely thing. Uh, John's forging them by hand, so that sort of hand-crafted uh, aesthetic is, is going to be retained. This is kind of one of the things about the project, which is uh, uh, summed up in this uh, quote by a wonderful furniture maker called James Krenov, where he said that the work should retain the maker's fin fingerprints and that, that piece will, you know, the finished piece will, will retain John's fingerprints on it.